Salute, Claudia. You here to look at the book? A presto, Ezio. Leonardo. Ezio, so good to see you. How can I help you? Ha-ha! You found another one! How exciting! If you transpose this word and move this line to the left, it's deciphered. Excuse me, brother. I wonder if you can... Uh, unholy demon! Get away! What's wrong? You're the one who killed Brother Stefano! Brothers, the killer of monks has returned! No! Run! Run! Assassin on the loose! No! No! No, I don't want to die! I only kill those who kill others. And your brother Stefano was a killer. I'm sure you are no such thing. Now, listen to me. I'm looking for a black-robed monk who's missing a finger. Missing a finger, you say? Do you mean, like, Fra Savonarola? Savonarola? Who is this? You know him? I did. He was one of us, for a time. And then? We suggested he retire to a hermitage for a good long time. I'm afraid to say his retreat has come to an end. Where would he have gone? Oh dear. Santo Spirito? In Firenze? It's where he studied. Perhaps it's where he would return. I thank you. 
Go with God, brother. Girolamo Savonarola, a Dominican friar from Ferrera, this man took his job seriously. He saw the excesses of his age, the rich stomping the poor into the dirt, the priests selling indulgences to the populace, and he went insane. Calling himself an instrument of God, Savonarola descended on Frenze. His sermons sent people into frenzies. He demanded an end to all personal property, to all progress, a return to Eden. Knowledge became the enemy. And he could erase it all with the piece of Eden at his command. Books, paintings, musical instruments, he burned everything in the bonfire of the vanities. History unraveled as his legions took control, and Firenze descended into darkness. If Piero had only a tenth of his father's talent, we'd, we'd still have some place to call home. Never should have welcomed that, that mad, mad monk into the, the city. Look at all the misery he's brought. Don't understand why I'd be so willing to accept the pressure. Salve, Ezio. You picked a fine time for a homecoming. Then it's true. Savonarola has taken control of Firenze. Yes. No doubt aided by that treacherous artifact. We should get to work on retrieving it. That may be more complicated than you think. <laughs> when isn't it? Why don't you fill me in on things? Walk with me. It all started a few weeks ago. The man everyone once reviled was suddenly the one they worshipped. Ah, the apple. Only in part. It's not the city he's enthralled, but its leaders. Men possessed of influence. They, in turn, oppress the citizens and ensure his will is done. The people act as if they have no say in the matter. Rare is the man willing to oppose the status quo. And so it falls to us to help them see the truth. Those bodies bear the emblem of the Borgia. Yes. The Spaniard keeps sending his soldiers into Firenze. And Firenze keeps sending them back. Usually in pieces. Then he knows the apple is here as well. An unfortunate complication. So, this way.
Perla, ma allora! Ma quanto fanno qui? Let's go! Santa Croce! All right, the direct assault will be dangerous, True. especially with the apple but in what his other possession. Option is there? Aside from the city leaders, the people's minds are their own, correct? See, si. and they follow Savonarola not by choice, but force and fear. See, si. then I propose we use this to our advantage. If we can silence his lieutenants and stir up discontent, he will be distracted, and I will have a chance to strike. Clever. I'll speak with La Volpe and Paola. They can help to organize the uprising as you free the districts. Then it's settled. I'll take care of his abettors. It shall be held sometime after the execution. Go away! Dog! Disturbing the peace in my presence isn't very wise, amico. Can easily become you a think little, yes? kind-hearted public ah. servants. You are an entertainer. Don't escape! Get this! Let me disabuse you. Faster! Merda! Uh. Omnipotens Deus, Rex Regum, et Omnium Gubernator, 